Well, let's get into the groove. Before we tell you all the things about budget, let's um, apprise you of the latest news roundup. Now, only half of the total 275 members of parliament will be admitted into the chamber today when the finance minister, Ken Oferiata, delivers the mid-year budget statement. Now, the rest of the MPs would have to monitor proceedings on their televisions in their offices or sit in the public gallery if they want. Now, the Speaker of Parliament, Professor Michael Quay, announced that as part of measures to ensure social distancing to avoid spread of coronavirus, MPs will sit an extra seat apart. Honourable members of Parliament may note that there will be free seating in the chamber. All name tags will be removed for tomorrow. Members will only sit on alternative seats, such so that there will be an empty seat between every two members seated. Honourable mem two, honourable members who are unable to find seats may monitor the presentation in their offices. Alternatively, such members could be seated at the public gallery, where no others will be admitted to follow proceedings. Three. The general public is by this informed that regarding tomorrow's sitting, the protocol that debars all visitors to parliament and especially to parliamentary sittings remains in force. To that end, the public gallery will not be open to members of the public. No members of the public will be entitled to attend parliament tomorrow. Four, the program will be aired on both state and private media and the general public may follow proceedings from the comfort of their homes and offices. The Public Affairs Department are to ensure that the program is aired live for the benefit of all Ghanaians. Five, the Director of the Public Affairs and the Dean of the Press Corps are also directed to ensure that there is social distancing at the press gallery, where only limited members of the media will be admitted, the usual parliamentary press call. Others are to please get their information from them and stay away from, from this uh, house. It is useful to state that having regard to a limited space available, media personnel other than those identified as members of the parliamentary press call will not be admitted into the house. Other media persons may obtain their information from the parliamentary press call or from live broadcast. The marshal is accordingly directed to ensure full compliance. To emphasize, no crowd will be allowed outside the chamber area. Members should please refrain from moving about the chamber, touching other chairs and going and tables and going to sit next to others. Social distancing is imperative. Now we're expecting to be in the house at 10, but before then, all the previews will be right here with some great discussions uh, interspersing all these. But let's move on. In Ashanti, the 200, about 218 people died in road crashes in the Ashanti region in the first half of this year. Now, this is just two below the figure for 2019. A police, motor, traffic and transport department says 1,413 road crashes occurred during the period. Regional Commander Superintendent Emmanuel Idubwahin spoke at the opening of a new vehicle testing and licensing company in the capital, Kumasi. Lava firms Kwisi Debra has more in this report. Road accidents have been on the surge over the past decade. According to the National Road Safety Commission, vehicles involved in road accidents still hover over a thousand. Superintendent Edouard blamed the situation on carelessness and indiscipline on the roads. So far, it is the seventh that I've been mentioned. From January to June 2020, as compared to the same period 2019, we have recorded 1,413 accident cases within a certain region as well. As compared to 1,654 
in 2019. Here we have a reduction of about 50%. The total number of vehicles involved unfortunately increased from 1,338 last year to 2,293. The total number of persons who have sustained in different degree of injuries, 1,738 as compared to 2,077 last year. Again, the unfortunate situation is that with all these COVID-19, the lockdowns, where there was reduction of number of vehicles on our roads, the total number of people who have died through road crashes in the Santa region is 218, as against 216 for the same period last year. Unfortunately, the men are dying more than the women. We have 117 men and then 41 women. Sadumak Prime Company Limited is mandated by the Driver and Vehicle Licensing Authority under the Road and Traffic Regulation to undertake vehicle testing and issuance of Road Worthy Certificate. According to the DVLA, it's meant to make the private vehicle testing the sole issue of renewal roadworthy certificate. Regional manager of DVLA, Amos Abeka, says it will go a long way to reduce road accidents in the country. The DVLA decided at a point that the congestion in our offices is too much. The frustration people go through is too much. And so in order to ease these things, there's a need to open up. And that is why we are here. And it is our aim, a, a hope and objective is that this thing is patronize it. If you want to go into the statistics, my big brother has done that already. The accidents and the, what it does was the number of people, and most of it is as a result of lack of maintenance. Reporter for Joy News, Kwesi Debra. A second-year student of the Ejusso Technical Senior High School has been hospitalized after drinking liquid soap in what is believed to be an attempted suicide on campus. Now, this was after an assistant headmaster of the school locked him up with a colleague overnight in his office for stealing the school's electric stabilizer. Shouts by the colleague from inside the offices attracted attention of staff and students who found the victim foaming from the mouth. Lava Firm's Erastatha Saridonko has been following the story and brings us the latest. According to school authorities, a taxi driver spotted the two students in the evening yesterday trying to scale over the school wall with a hidden item. He arrested and handed them over to the assistant headmaster who retrieved the stolen stabilizer. Assistant Headmaster Kofi Apia told Love News he asked the students to strip naked to their underwear and lock them up in his office until the next day. So I was trying to inquire from them where they got it and they were not trying to tell me the truth. And it was late in the night, school management, the student uh, teachers weren't around, headmaster too wasn't around and I didn't want to take any decision outside them. So I decided to keep them in my office so that the following morning, that is today, when the head comes and then the other management members also come, then we sit on the issue and then we trash it out. Unfortunately, there was this um, liquid soap there that they used to clean the, the office. I don't know what happened and then one of the students took it. And I don't know whether she, he, he, he drank it or whatever. So they called me in the morning and said that he has drunk some of the, the, what you call the, the liquid soap. So quickly we came and then um, he was there on the ground and then we took him to the hospital and then later on the head missus came and then reported the case to the commander, the BNI first and then the, um, the police commander also came in. So right now the other guy, they have taken the other guy to the police and this one too is at the hospital and so that is the issue now. Is it true they were stripped to their boxer as they speak? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I just, they, they were wearing some white shirts, and then I said, you should 
take the white shirt off. You know, when the boxer are right. But you see, the, the police I can take you there is very nice police. The fan was there, the light was there, everything was there. You have everything clean. Mm -hmm. So what, were they locked inside the office uh, for the whole night? My own office, my own office, yes. I locked them in my own office. Just for the headmistress to come, the foreign day, and the other management members to come so that we can trash out the issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My worry was that anything could have happened in the night. Uh, why she left them there? Anything at all could have happened? I told them that definitely they will urinate. So before that, I asked them to urinate so that they, will, they won't go and then maybe have that problem over there. One of them drank a liquid hand-washing soap he found in the office. His colleague in the morning shouted for help to draw the attention of other teachers on campus who rushed him to the Adjusto government hospital. We are told by health officials he is responding to treatment, but we were not allowed uh, to speak with him directly. But his mom has been telling us what actually happened. <laughs> Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaredonko, Kumasi.